What's up, ladies and gentlemen? For those that's tuned in, I appreciate it. I want to tell y'all something. And if you're a follower of Jesus and you have some type of belief, this message is for you. If you don't take a stand or if you don't complain for God or Jesus or take a stand for something for yourself, then you have lost the battle and the fight. You're basically lost in life and certain people, devils, demons, everything that's around you, if they never told you this, it's because they don't really care because they already lost. But, you know, I'm going to give it to you. If you don't take a stand for yourself, you lost. And what do I mean by that? Let me break it down because you have people, you know, in life, they don't want to give you the um, 100% full you got teachers on the job, people that work. They just give you the curriculum. But are they going to really break it down and give it to you the way that you need to receive it? All right? In order for God or Jesus to be in our life and to fix and start repairing things in our life and stuff like that, we have to start complaining. You have to start off by doing that. Now, I'm not saying complain about every little thing. No, no, no. But that's a start. And the healing process began right away. And then on top of that, God can start working in each and every one of our lives. Because it's the society, the, the, the rules that's built in this world is for most people to not complain or not do anything. Just roll along with the punches and just you know, do what you got to do, keeping your mouth shut. But everyone in the Bible and in the regular world society, they was all complainers. They all continued, you know, they had to keep going to Jesus and God for, like, certain problems and stuff like that constantly, over and over again, from, from Moses going back and forth to the Pharaohs from Dr. Martin Luther King's speeches, from the slaves wanting to be free, they all had to start complaining. They all had to start from something, from somewhere. And it starts from that. Even, you know, everything, like everything around you, not taking a stand for yourself is a sin. Not doing, you know, like, being a leader for yourself is, is 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 deadly. It can damage you, like, emotionally because you'll be with this man or you'll be with this woman or you'll be with this friend and you just, like, you just roll along with them with everything that they do. But you really, you know, you're not really down with certain stuff. But year after year and stuff like that, you, you just, and then that can cause a breakup or it could cause, like, a bigger problem or, a bigger situation. Take a look at gynecologists. Well, most people go to a gynecologist. They go to talk about their problems. And after weeks, months, or however long they've been going, depending on how you look at it, you might start saying, you know, it sounds like it's a complaint. Because after a while, that's what it becomes. In court, in the court system, there's a such thing as a complainant. The person on the opposite side from the defender that's complaining about the problem, the situation that has occurred. So only difference is, is it has a name, it has a title. Most of these people went to school for this stuff, but most of it is for the wrong reasons. Because what are you complaining for? It depends on what are you doing it for? Some people is not taking the right stands for God and Jesus. They not putting they self all the way out there. And they not, it's like they hide behind other people. They, they hoping that other people get rich and so they can get money off them. Or they hoping other people put they self all the way out there so they can say, well, I had his back or her back. Even though that you never didn't, you just came out of nowhere once the person started accomplishing things even through all of that 
even through those type of things, because those are the, those are your tests in life. Even through all of those things, you will have these type of problems. And if you don't take stands for yourself spiritually, you know, if you're going through certain things in your life, whether it's you know people on a job, evil situations where people is trying to hurt other people spiritually or mentally because not everybody is going to try to hurt you physically and if you don't take a stand when this person is trying to hurt you mentally because a, a person that can hurt you mentally is probably more dangerous than a person that will hurt you physically because now you know you have a person that work in his office or, or business and they just pure evil they just you know they just they thrive off of hurting the next person in any other form or fashion but sometimes in life sometimes in life you might find yourself repeating the same things or you might seem like you repeating yourself in certain aspects of your life and a lot of folks will probably call that complaining. They give it a title, whatever title it's called. And they might say, you know, well, this person has is, is become a nuisance. They, they, you know, that's all that they do. They, 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 they sing about the same thing. They, or they, you know, their movies or their TV shows is about the same stuff. Or whatever aspect of life, whatever you're doing it for, especially if it's for God and Jesus and the kingdom and stuff like that. You know, these people will say a lot of stuff about you. They would try to use that to break you. And then sometimes the person might even start feeling like that. Well, I'm, I, they might start saying, well, what if I am a complainer? Because things that devils and demons do, they, my mom told y'all, they give you something and then they, they take it back. You know, you may, you may get something and they just, next thing you know, you lost something. And that's to get you to complain again. That's to get you riled up again. And that's to basically mess with your mentality. You know, depending on how you get mad or depending on how you handle the situations. Because they want to see you get real, real, real upset. They don't want you to really complain and break down what's really going on and, and, and why it's going on. Because these people, you know, they got a lot of, I got, you know, you got a lot of psychics and all of them people out here, they, they dipping into our future. They are looking at those things. So how can you start preparing yourself to defeat them? You have to open your mouth. You have to complain. You have to do these things. Because if not, if we just continue to let things roll over time after time, it's no different. The rules that government have, you know, say, say I was with somebody and they committed a murder. And I never said nothing. In the afterlife, I have to suffer for that. It's no different. The, the, the rules that man has created is no different from the rules that God has created. And in fact, man got the rules from God. Because if you don't, if, if imagine if I don't say anything about that murder, or I've seen something take place drastic that has taken a life or something like that, then I'm definitely going to have to pay for it in the afterlife. That's just how things roll. You know how these people in the Illuminati, Masonic, all of these type of secrets, cults, and they have all of these definitions for the silent game, you know, not saying anything. They even have hand gestures, putting the hand over the mouth, all of those substitutes to, to distract us and to just basically break you and to not say nothing, just to stay silent, you know, leave it all up to God and things like that. But in order for God to test us, we have to fight some of our battles. We have to. So, which, and, and we don't live in, in the Old Testament where people were just killing each other, you know, for, for, or stoning you. So, you have to start somewhere. It's through complaining and things like that. And, you know, like I say, certain people will make it seem like you are the problem. You are the object that's causing these problems because the minute 
they even have it in the in in, in ghettos and in the hoods the no snitching rule to just not say anything you know to just always go for revenge physically and you know to never like really take a bigger stand which is start by complaining and gathering people against what they're doing that's basically the biggest uh that's the biggest power you have you know but people take things into their own hands and you know certain outcomes be not what they wanted it to be so in order to start doing things like that and to separate yourself from that type of people cuz a lot of people just want to take things into their hands every single time you know some people even take it as far as putting their hands on you or doing something real real drastic to you so you can try to put your hands on them so, so they're hoping deep inside that that you got your revenge and you know they might have escaped hell or whatever you know may come with that because that's how demons think they they petty like that they hope that you get revenge on them thinking that um that saved them but it it doesn't cuz if you're not good in the inside and you keep hurting people and the person you know even if they get their revenge you still in the eyes of god is a demon because your heart is still messed up so you have to change within and 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 to beat yourself up hoping that something good come out of it it's not the way it work cuz i see a lot of people do this they beat they self up they become poor dirty and all of this stuff but they but yet they still doing more they doing more evil even 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 people that's not poor and stuff like that they beat they self up and then they like try to become more and more shown that yeah I'm evil this this that and these for the people that know them whether it's your coworkers your neighbors or whoever your family your your, your kids and then you beat your own self up whether it's over drugs or whatever and then most people think like it saved them it only make it worse because the more hurt you do to people the more consequences especially if you're aware of these things that's all a part of um you know standing up taking a def- defending yourself cuz you can't just we all was born in sin but are you going to stand up individually for yourself for the people for whoever that's around you that you care about are you going to stand up are you going to let things happen time after time cuz there's consequences even for that there's consequences if why you think the government and these demons know that they know say a million people know that this this man or this 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 person died or whatever and nobody said nothing god will kill a million for one and save a one for a million this is how serious these battles is i'm gonna say that again god will kill one for a million and kill and save a million for one it's always it always has worked like that that's why heaven is so narrow and that's why things is the way it is and devils and all of them they know this stuff sometimes god will destroy a whole city and only one or two people might have been saved out of the whole city out of millions of people staying there and you you probably thinking in the back of your head wow but this is real if i'm saying it everything under the sun has been thought of anything that you think of that you you that's listening anything that you've probably thought of it has probably already happened cuz nothing's new under the sun so if that's the way things work and people still try to you know they act like folks like myself and folks like you that's listening and other people don't have common sense or aware of these things and that's why we need more stand up people more people that's going to come to the front that's not going to rely and depend and put all their effort into one source or one man and you know not just do it they self and help you know along the way but these are the people we deal with right anyway um i'm gone 
Iya. 